Creating a real-time data-driven application can be difficult. That's why at Prisma, we created Pulse. We wanted to make creating real-time applications so simple that anyone using the Prisma client could also get real-time events into their applications with the same type safety and developer experience that the Prisma ORM provides. But our users ran into an issue. While Pulse is very easy to use once connected to a database, getting a database configured for Pulse can be challenging. Essentially, it all revolves around a single setting for your Postgres database, the write-ahead log level setting. The write-ahead log level setting determines how much information is written to the write-ahead log. The default value is set to replica. Setting this value to replica writes enough data to support basic write-ahead log functionality, while additional features, which are required to support Pulse, need the logical setting. The logical setting includes more information about the changes recorded in your database. Now back to why this causes it to be difficult to use Pulse. Depending on the provider that our users use to host their database, this setting could be buried under setting groups that the user must find and change, or the provider could just not allow for this setting to be changed at all. Also, Pulse needs to be able to connect to your database, so your database has to be publicly accessible, making local configurations difficult. These things cause users to not want to try Pulse, just because of the headache of getting started quickly. And we understand. That's when we came up with the idea to create a template for our users to try Pulse quickly. We looked all over for a way to do this. From CloudFormation templates to local Docker images, none of them hit the nail on the head until we found Railway.app. Railway is a platform as a service that lets developers ship without friction. Basically, Railway makes it really easy for you to create infrastructure for your projects and automate your code deployments. Along with that, Railway has an excellent template feature. This template feature will allow us to create a project with the proper configurations and share it with you to install on your Railway accounts. With just a few steps, you can have a Pulse Ready database configured and ready to go. We have created two templates. In this video, we will go over both. If you're interested in trying out Pulse, this is the fastest way to do so. You'll need an account on Railway that's hooked up to your GitHub account. If you don't have one yet, go ahead and create one. The first template contains a Postgres database and a configuration setup service. A service in Railway's case is a deployment target for an application. You can use a service to host your projects, or like we do in this template, have it configure your database when building. First, we're gonna to need to go to the Pulse DB only project. The link will be down in the description below or you can find it inside of the template search features on Railway. Once you click the Deploy Now button, you'll see a screen that asks you to name a new repo. This repo is going to be created on your GitHub account. This is the repository that we made at Prisma to configure the database. We have named this repository and service Restart DB, then Delete Me. That's because that's what you're going to need to do once this template is done being built. Hit Deploy, and within a matter of seconds, you'll have a Postgres database and a service running that configuration repo. On build, this service will configure your database, which is doing already. If you click view logs on the window that opens up, on the deploy logs tab, you'll see a message saying, all done, please restart the database and delete this service, along with your database URL. You can copy that database URL here and save it for later, but you'll always be able to get it again by clicking on your database and going to the environment variables. Then close out the deployment and click on your database. Click on the settings tab and scroll down until you see the restart database button. We have to restart the database so that way the write ahead log level setting that we changed inside of our configuration takes effect. And that's it. Technically, after three button clicks, you now have a Pulse Ready database. Now we still need to get this database connected to a project, and we'll do that here coming up in the next template. Now you might be asking, couldn't you just use this service and this repository as a Pulse project? Yes, you could. All you would have to do is download this repository locally, go into the package.json file, and remove the start script. This start script is ran every single time a deployment is pushed to Railway. This is why we need to remove this start script from the package.json. While we're looking at this repository, might as well go into the code so I can show you what's happening to your database when you're using this template. The start script points to a file called config-db.ts. In this file, we can see the queries that are ran on your database. Firstly, we are dropping an extension unique to Railway, as it wouldn't allow us to keep the connection alive with Pulse. This doesn't affect anything on your database. It's just there for Railway's purposes of creating new databases. And then we set the write-ahead log level setting to logical. The following settings are just to allow the write-ahead log more memory on your database than by default. You can fiddle with these settings if you like, but they shouldn't matter to most. Then we are reloading the configurations. This sets all the settings on the database other than the right ahead log level, which is why we need to restart the database still. We just wanted to keep this first template simple. Going forward, you will have a Pulse Ready Postgres database to use for any of your applications. Anytime you want to try to build a real-time application with Pulse, this template will be here for you to use. The second template combines the first and a starter project for Pulse. If you want to have a configured database plus a project that works, this is the template to use. Again, head to the template page. This one's called Pulse DB and App. The link will be down in the description below, and you can also find this one inside of Railway's UI as well. Click the Deploy Now button. Now this screen's a little bit different because we have two services in here instead of one. Two different repositories make up this template. The first one's the one that we used before, the Restart DB then Delete Me. 
you might have to rename this repository if you already have a repository on your GitHub account called RestartDB, then delete me. The second is the Pulse Starter project. There's going to be an environment variable in here called the Pulse API key. You won't be able to fill this out yet because you get the Pulse API key after Pulse has connected to your database. So just hit save configuration and then click deploy. This will do all the same things as the first template. Again, all you will have to do is restart the database and delete the configuration service. But differently, we have this Pulse Starter service slash repo. This repo is a basic Pulse Starter app that comes with some models for your database and a basic Pulse subscription that will output any changes to your user table. We will need to get the API key for this project. So head to the Prisma data platform, create a project, click on the Pulse configuration tab, paste in your database URL, wait for Pulse to finish its setup, then create an API key and return to your railway project. You will need to click on your Pulse starter service, click on the variables section and paste in your Pulse API key variable. Then go back to the builds tab and redeploy. You might notice that the build failed previously. That's because there was no Pulse API key. So it tried to make the connection without the key. Once this is finished deploying, you can click on your logs, go over to the deployment logs tab, and this is where you will see the live feed from Pulse for all the changes that have happened to your user table. The reason this is happening is based on the index.ts file inside of this project. The index.ts file is ran in the start script after this repository has been deployed. If you look inside of the index.ts file, you'll be able to find your simple user table subscription. This tells Pulse to send you the data anytime something changes on the user table. Go over to your database and let's add a user. Click on the user table, add a row, put in some information, and then click save. Return back to the Pulse starter service, click on the logs, and you'll be able to see Pulse with an update for your user table for that row that was created. Now, say you want to build on top of this. You want to continue to try out Pulse. Well, that's why we did this. So now you can go to your GitHub account and you'll see your Pulse starter repo there. You can go ahead and clone this to your local machine and build on top of it locally. All you have to do is get your Pulse API key and database URL and put them inside of an environment variable. Anytime you make a change to this project and you push up, Railway will rebuild and deploy your Pulse starter app. Hopefully between these two templates, you'll be able to see the power of Pulse and get up and running quickly. If you're interested in learning more about Pulse and what you can do with the Pulse API to get different types of events from your database, click on this video that's on the screen. Special thanks to the team at Railway for helping us out creating these templates for you guys. And until next time, from everybody at Prisma, keep making awesome things.